Hi, second grade. For the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about single digit addition and subtraction. We've been working on how to add and subtract in a way that is easy and fast. Um, this week, we're gonna focus on two digit addition. So when you look at all of these problems on my screen, you see that all of these addition problems have two digits. They're two digits plus two digits plus two digits plus two digits. Um, all of these addition problems have two digits. And so when we look at them, we're like, oh my God, this looks a little bit scary, but no worries. These are super duper easy. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to add two digit numbers together. Let's take them one by one. There are too many numbers on my screen. There's too many addition problems on my screen. Let's take them one by one. Let's start with the first one. When we look at this addition problem, I see 24 plus 41. I am gonna show you how to use this um, place value chart, your tens and your ones. I'm going to show you how to use this place value chart to help you do addition problems a lot easier. So first, let's take our two add-ins. Remember, add-ins are two numbers that you add together. So the 24 and the 41, they're both add-ins because there's two numbers that we're adding together. The addition problem answer is called a sum. So we don't say what's the answer, we say what's the sum. So here are my two add-ins and we're looking for my sum here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 24 and I'm gonna split it up into my place value chart. I got my 24 and I brought it down here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 41 and I'm gonna put it right underneath the 24, right there. It's very important that when we're adding our two add-ins together, we stack them up nice and neat. So the tens place with the tens place and the ones place with the ones place. Now we add our addition sign because I know that we're adding here, so we're gonna add our addition sign and now we're ready to add. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my handy dandy pencil and I'm gonna circle my ones place right here. I'm gonna start with adding only my ones together and I always, always, always start with my ones, always. Four plus one. What's four plus one? That's super easy. You guys know what four plus one is. What's four plus one? Four, five. Four plus one is five. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna circle our tens. Now we can add our tens together. Two plus four, that's an easy one too. What's two plus four? I hope you said six. Two plus four is six. That means that 24 plus 41 is what? It's 65. So we can bring our 65 all the way up here and look at how easy that was. You didn't have to add 24 fingers plus 41 fingers. I don't even have that many fingers on my hand. All you need to do is split them up, add your ones, add your tens, and there you go. You just did that so easily. Let's try a couple more examples. Let's try 38 plus 51. 38 plus 51. Let's start with the 38. Let's bring down the 38 and split it up with my tens and my ones. 38, let's split it up. And now I have a 51, so we're gonna split that up too and we'll bring down my plus sign. And now let's find my sum. Remember my sum is my addition answer. We're not gonna say answer, we're gonna say sum. So we're looking for my sum. The first thing I need to do when looking for my sum, the first thing I need to do is circle my ones. We always start with the ones place. Always, always, always. Wow, look at how easy the ones place is. It's just eight plus one. What's eight plus one? 
I hope you said nine. Now let's look at our tens place. The tens place is super duper easy. What's three plus five? I hope you said eight. And now we have our sum that we're gonna bring up here. We have 38 plus 51 is 89. We just bring it right on over. Look how fast and easy it is to add two digit numbers. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna do a couple more problems together. Let's look at this next one. We have 83 plus 16. Oh boy, we have two really big numbers. Let's split those up to make it easier. We've got an 83. Let's split it up with the tens and the ones. We have 83. Now let's bring down the 16 and split that one up too. We've got 16. And let's add all of these guys together now. I'm going to start with adding my ones. Oh, look how much easier this is. It's 6 plus 3. What's 6 plus 3? 6 plus 3 is 9. And now we can add our tens. What's 8 plus 1? It's also 9. So now we can bring over our sum. Remember, the sum is the math answer. So we can bring over our sum over here. Our sum is 99. These guys are our add-ins and this is my sum. So we have 83 plus 16 is 99. Wow, look how fast and easy we did that. Let's do another one. We've got 74 plus 23. 74 plus 23. Let's split this up to make it easier. Let's start with my first add end. We have 74. Let's bring down my 23. We're going to split this up and we'll add my plus sign because we're adding. So we always bring down the plus sign. Now, am I going to start with my tens? Or am I going to start with my ones? Am I going to start over here with my tens? I hope you said no. I don't start with my tens. I start with my ones. I always, always, always start with my ones. I have to add my ones first. Wow, look how easy peasy my ones place is. I have four plus three. What's four plus three? I hope you said seven. Now let's look at my tens place. My tens place is super easy too. Seven plus two. It's nine. So now I can bring my sum all the way up here, which means that 74 plus 23 equals 97. All right, let's look at the next one. We have... 68 plus 21. 68 plus 21. The first thing we do is we bring our add-ins down. So we just brought down the 68. Let's bring down the 21. And we have to split them up and add our plus sign. Oh, let me fix that one. There we go. That's better. And now we're looking for the sum. So the first thing we do is we circle the right place. Which place are we going to circle first? Which one are we going to start with? I hope you said the ones place. We're always starting with the ones place. Look how easy this is. 8 plus 1. That one is so easy. You guys are experts at that. That's 9. And now we can add our tens place. And what's 6 plus 2? eight and now we can move our sum all the way up to the top look at how easy and fast we're doing this it's 68 plus 21 equals 89 we just did that so fast can you imagine if we would have had to count 68 fingers and 21 fingers to get 89 fingers i don't even have enough fingers for that Let's do one last one together. 
we'll do one more addition problem together. We have 23 plus 54. The first thing I'm going to do is bring down my 23 and split it up into my 10s and my 1s place. Now I'm ready to bring down my 54 and I can bring down my plus sign. Am I going to start with my 10s or am I going to start with my 1s? I hope you told me to start with my 1s because yes, I always, always, always start with my 1s. My ones place is super duper easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's look at three plus four. What's three plus four? Seven. Now we can move on over to my tens place, which is just two plus five. It's also seven. And now we can bring the sum over here. So that means that 23 plus 54 equals 77. We just did all of these math problems that you saw at the beginning of the page. You just did all of these math problems all by yourself and you added all of these add-ins to find all of these sums and you did that so fast. Remember, in order to add two digit numbers, always split them up into your tens and your ones place and always, always, always start with your ones place first.